It looks like modern art, but this is actually the world's largest carbon capture plant, a bank of fans drawing in the air and removing its CO2 permanently. So this is where Climeworks sucks carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere, and the CO2 is accumulated in these cells. We heat it up, and then they send the CO2 to Carbfix, and we inject it into the bedrock and turn it into stone. The greenhouse gas arrives here and is then sent deep into the ground below, where it will stay for thousands of years. Here we are injecting CO2 into the ground where it goes into basalts and rapidly turns to stone. And that's the essence of the Carbfix technology. We imitate and accelerate the process that nature has been applying for millions of years. And by doing that, we're able to permanently eliminate uh, some of our CO2 emissions. And this is what we need to do at scale if we are to meet our climate goals. The world released 34 billion metric tons of CO2 into the atmosphere last year. The Orca plant will capture just 4,000 tons, the equivalent of emissions from 850 cars. And the technology is expensive, $15 million to build this site in Iceland. But clients are lining up. Corporations and private individuals are already paying Climeworks to remove carbon dioxide in their name. It's quite expensive and it's quite a, a tiny market. And so one of the reasons that we were so excited to purchase carbon removal from companies like Climeworks is that we see that our, our early movement here can help to develop that very nascent market. Scrubbed free of carbon dioxide, the air in here has gone briefly back to pre-industrial levels. The question is whether technology like this can be scaled up and the cost brought down in time to make a real impact. Climate scientists are optimistic. They're aiming at 4,000 tons per year, which is very trivial compared to what we have to do. But what is very important is that this is the first one, and it doesn't matter where you do it. You, if you, CO2 that's released in New York can be here in Reykjavik, you know, uh, Iceland, you know, two days later. Iceland itself has always been a low emitter. 100% of the country's electricity is from geothermal and hydropower. But as well as capturing from the air, Iceland is looking to import captured CO2 emissions by sea and fix it deep into their bedrock, bringing the world a little closer to its carbon-neutral goal. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera, Hedlis Hedi, Iceland.